this is our very first camper van trip. We had been living and touring around the North Island entirely in this self-contained motorhome. Overall, we enjoyed it a lot, but we also had quite a few unexpected mishaps along the way. But nothing ever stopped me from dusting off my shoes. You might think you'll see me falling to the ground. Ending our South Island trip, we took a domestic flight to the North Island. There was quite a bit of rainfall during our North Island exploration. On the first day, it was raining so heavily, which caused us quite a fair bit of delay collecting our motorhome. As we were behind schedule, everything was in such a rush. We had a simple dinner, grabbed some grocery and in a convoy of three, we moved up to our next destination, Waitomo. Original plan was to reach Waitomo before nightfall. But because of the unexpected delay, we drove in the dark most of the journey. And the reason to spend the night there is because of our guided cave tour early next morning. As we were rather late and the Freedom camping site was full, so we need to backtrack and find another camping site. And that was not the only problem we had. Both my kids were down with high fever out of the blue. The lucky part was we did bring along some backup medication for the kids as it was late at night and we were in the middle of nowhere. This was where we parked last night. I did not realise that it was actually quite a nice place as it was really dark when we found this place. I think this used to be a holiday park in the past. There are dumping station and charging docks which are no longer operational. In fact, this place was not even marked in the camping apps. Frankly, I am not even sure if we are allowed to camp here. We just happened to backtrack and chance upon this location and decided to camp here as it was really late and both my kids were having high fever. As the kids were feeling better, we decided to join the cave tour with the rest. Second hand I felt a bit <laughs> forgotten Not your plan but now the days of silence Outgrow the fun Things we have done but tell me, do you want to carry on? Plants don't grow without water. We did not visit the main Waitomo Glowworm Cave. Instead, we booked a private tour from another boutique company, which consists of two different cave systems. It was a two and a half hour tour, while the main Waitomo Cave tour, which most visitors sign up, is around 45 minutes. And what we loved most about this tour was the exclusiveness. The whole time, we were the only group here. Second hand, I felt a bit forgotten. Not your plan, but now the days of silence outgrow the fun things we have done. But tell me, do you want to carry on? Plans don't. Your head on my shoulder. 
Next, we drove to Lake Taupo. Our plan was to find a nice spot at the Freedom Camp site of Waikaipo Bay and just spend the rest of our day there. Prepare our meals and maybe set up the picnic table and have a few beers together. Enjoying the essence of camper van life. Well, it turned out far from what we planned. Yes, this is my motorhome. Stuck and almost topper. At least that's what we thought at the moment. And I'm going to admit that it was all my fault. My stupidity and recklessness not only inconvenient myself, but others as well. This happened at a slopey off-road terrain just beside the campsite. To give you a perspective of how the terrain is, the slope is not very steep, quite gradual in most part, but most of the track were left behind by four-wheel drive, not exactly meant for other type of vehicles. Just wanted to mention that this picture do not show justice of how slanted my motorhome was in real life. I felt that it was about to topple any time. As none of us are well versed with off-road driving, and not too familiar with the capability of our motorhome. I decided to just call for help. Eventually, help came. I get out of the situation and paid for the services. A price to pay for, being an idiot. Though the scenery in the North Island is not as dramatic as the South, most of the time the view of the camping sites are not as epic. But still, I think North Island is charming in its own way. We parted from the others briefly, bring the kids to see Doctor at Taupo Town. We also visited the famous airplane McDonald in town. This is an actually commissioned 20 seaters passenger plane. If I'm not wrong, it was built in the 1940s. We continue our journey to Rotorua on the same day, skipping our plan to visit Waiotapo Thermal Hot Spring as we are running late for our next program. <laughs> The cultural tour ends at late night, and again we end up not being able to secure a parking lot at the only free camping area in Urtorua. But we were lucky to manage a last minute booking at a holiday park not too far away. During peak seasons like summer, it is especially common for popular free camping sites to be fully occupied. In fact, most of the holiday parks are fully booked too. It is just one of the inconveniences we face traveling in a motorhome. 
Another thing is, it is harder to get a parking lot in town driving such a big vehicle. But it wasn't really an issue to us. Most of the time, we just drove further down to a quieter part of town and get a lot. And of course, we need to dedicate some time to clear our own ways and top up clean water. With a convoy of three, we took around an hour to do that each day. We continue our journey to the Hobbiton movie set. You may really love this place if you are a fan. But it was definitely not the best time for us as it was raining the whole time. We decided to cancel our last destination at Coromando because of the time constraint and headed towards the coastal town of Taranga. We spent some time at the beach at Taranga on the last day of our road trip. The good things about travelling in a motorhome is its flexibility to do last minute changes in travel plan. And this may not be the most eventful camper van trip. There were mishaps and lots of delay. Plan were abundant. But this is one of the best adventures we had, spending a lot of quality time in this tight little space as a family. So, yeah, one time.